Hey, you guys, this is the Jewelry Lady. Thank you so much for joining me. I promised that I would upload this video to help you to see how you can test your jewelry to see whether it's sterling silver, 10K, 14K, 18K, or whatever. Um, and so we're going to get right into it. First of all, I get my assets from Amazon. They come, you can either buy them separately or in a pack. This one, I bought the 10K, and that's always going to have the yellow top. The 14K, the green top. And 18 karat is the red top. Now, they do have a sterling silver solution, but me personally, it just is hard for me to read it. It's a brownish solution, and if it is positive for sterling, it will turn like a red, and I'm, it's just hard for me to see. And so I don't use that, but I got a tip from a YouTuber that she uses the 18 karat gold solution to check her sterling. And it has been spot on, believe me, it's very reliable. So let's get into it. Now, as I mentioned to you in my, la in my last video, I hope you will go back and watch that. When you are sourcing your jewelry, you see something that has a silver tone, okay? The first thing you wanna do, you wanna check to see if it attracts to the magnet. If it does attract to the magnet, you know that it is plated. But there are some metals that they use and they put a silver plate over top of it that don't attract to the magnet. So be careful. And this is why it's so important for you to acid test it to see if it is sterling or not. First of all, you wanna get your piece of jewelry and you wanna make a mark on the stone and if you notice with this i can barely get a mark out of it and this in my experience has been an indication that it's not sterling it just has some kind of plating or coating or whatever they put over it to keep it from turning too fast but this is surely an indication that it is not sterling but i'm gonna check it anyway i'm gonna show you what you get. If you notice, it ate it completely up. Okay? All right, so we know that's not sterling. Okay? Now here's a necklace. Um, this necklace, it is marked sterling silver on the clasp. And as I said in my last video, you still have to check it. There's tons of fake sterling silver jewelry out there. I have found that out in the hard way. And so what I do, I, um, you know, I use my magnet. I look for marks and it was marked 925, but you still want to make sure before you sell it. You know, if you use it for yourself, that's something else and you know what you got. But if you're gonna sell this, if you're a reseller, we want to be sure that our jewelry items that we sell to other people is genuine. Yes, we wanna be sure of that. And so I'm gonna do a scratch test, okay? Notice, easy to scratch. That's a good indication. 18 karat solution again, so I just sweep across it like this. And if you notice, you see that blue like iridescent color that comes up, this is sterling silver. So that's what you look for with the 18 karat gold solution. You look for that blue iridescent, like a light blue color that's going to come. And it's going to come immediately once you put the acid on it. Okay. So it's that simple, you guys. That simple. Okay. Now let's try some gold items. Now this this is a gold tone bangle. I also showed this in my last video. It has a gold tone, and when I look at it, it doesn't have the appearance that it is gold, and it's heavy um, in proportion to what it looks like. So this is indicating to me that it's not gold, but notice this. See, it doesn't attract to the magnet, and this, can cause one to think, well, possibly it could be. Because again, 
If it attracts to the magnet, you know for 100% certainty that it is plated. It's not genuine sterling or gold. But if it doesn't attract to the magnet, it's a possibility, but you still need to acid test it. You need to acid test it to be sure. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, got me a nice scratch there. Okay, I always start with the lowest solution, which is 10 karat, and put your mark there. Sometimes this stuff comes out with a bubble. If it's heavily plated, then you might get, you know, it, it might look like that acid is not eating up that mob. But just give it a moment because some of your, you know, more quality pieces, this is Kate Spade. And so it has some plating, but look at that. You see that acid ate that mark up. So we know that this is plated. It's not gold. Definitely not. <laughs> you see how it ate it up? You can even see where it ate it up in that circle, but this, you know, moth is untouched. And um, I want to show you something else also. This, I know, this is a personal ring of mine. It's 14 karat gold. So again, we're just going to Try it again. I'm going to put two marks. Okay, so green top, 14 karat. Put your acid there. Okay, and let's try this 18 karat gold. Say like if you're just wondering, you want to make sure about a piece, okay? And so look at the reaction again. You see, the 14 karat gold mark is still there. It hasn't moved. Um, sometimes you might see where the acid is eating it up and you see the little particles. You can start seeing the little particles swimming around in the solution, which will let you know that also, you know, it's not genuine. Or, you know, if a 14 karat gold is being, um, acid is eating up the mark, then you want to back down to your 10 karat and check it but this mark right here you see the 18 karat it completely eats it up so that's just how simple it is you guys you use your solution um, on that scratch mark if it stays there then it's real it's genuine if the acid eats it up it's plated and it's as simple as that i hope this helped you guys I used to look at these videos myself, and that's how I learned. And I just want to share what I have um, picked up. So please, like, subscribe, give me that thumbs up, please, and a positive, encouraging comment below. Let me know about your experience that you have had out there sourcing jewelry. And please subscribe. This is the Jewelry Lady. Check out the Jewelry Lady 63 on eBay. A lot of my items are for sale there. And I also have another YouTube channel, which is Thrifting with Lemon Snaps. I hope you'll check that out too. Thanks again. I'll see you the next time. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next one is coming up. Okay? See you later. Bye.